Hey guys, it's Max Cunningham, and I want to talk about the accessories that I carry in my bowling bag. The first thing being my shoes, and these are interchangeable shoes. Um, pretty much I wear interchangeable shoes because going to many different centers um, all around the country, around the state, you never know what kind of approaches you're going to run into, and those two approaches are the same. So I use that, and I also manipulate like the heel, the slides, to kind of determine how much I want to slide and break. In accordance with my shoes, the next thing I want to talk about are shoe covers. These are really important because if you ever need to step outside the bowl as well, whether it be grabbing a ball from the paddock or grabbing a snap or going to the bathroom, the last thing you want to do is step in something where it's just going to ruin your slide and you fall on your face. And this also just is really respectful of all the other bowlers because you don't want to track something that you could have stepped on. And they're also just really nice to have it it just keeps your shoes protected. And by protecting your shoes, you also want to have a shoe brush. Another thing that I carry because sometimes there will be stuff in the bowler as well and you just have to clean it off really quick before it's your turn again. And this also just helps clean off the sole whenever you have that, that dirt and grime all over it. And it's just a quick and easy tool um, that every single bowler should carry. The next thing I use is thumb tape. This kind of helps just get the texture I need so I know how fast I'm going to come out of the ball. And I always use the blue ones because it gives me that exact feel every single time super consistent and it helps get those hairs and cuts that happen whenever you go bowling. And after I get my thumb patched up, the next thing I carry are multiple switch grips or interchangeable thumbs because sometimes you don't know when your thumb will shrink or swell and it's good to have at least two of these so in case you lose one you have a backup but you always want to have at least three uh, just for any situation that you might come across and sometimes when your thumb swells they can cost you like a match or it can cost you like extra pins in the field and it's just good to have many sizes and experiment with these in practice so you know what size is going to do and where they line up from tightest to biggest. The next thing I want to talk about is thumb tape, texture tape and slick tape. What this does is if I do find a switch grip that I really like a lot but it's just a little bit off and I don't want to go into a different, a whole different switch grip, I just use tape to kind of manipulate the feel of it and just get that exact feel I'm looking for. Another thing I carry with the switch grips is just the switcheroo and the jack just in case it gets stuck if the ball um, is humid and just kind of sticks in there. These are just good tools to kind of claw it out without ripping your thumb apart. And with extra thumb grips, you also want to carry extra finger grips because just in case they get lost in the ball or you need an extra one, you can always just have extra grips in your bag and also carry glue with it to install it in properly. And if they're ever loose, um, you can always just fix it on the spot. And sometimes this happens, but sometimes my thumb will cut off open because tournament blocks can be like 8, 9, 12 games and it just happens. So carrying the extra skin or new skin patches, even though they do burn sometimes, they are super helpful and they can be lifesavers and these will also help push you through a block whenever you have an injury going on. So that's pretty much everything I do before I get set up, um, before the practice starts, after the practice is over or during the practice and I see a ball motion that I like but it's just hooking too late or I needed to get like it's a read up sooner. I use Apple off pads to kind of make it read earlier. These are really helpful because they have different options. Like this one is an 800 pad, this one over here is a 500, and this one is a 1500. So I can just use these pads to kind of know exactly how much I want it to hook sooner. And these don't make it hook more, but they just make it hook earlier. So on a long pattern, you would want to use something that has more surface or if it's something that has not as much oil and volume of units, you want to use something that's lighter if you get that extra touch. And these are just really helpful. So also just keep your ball clean and everybody should carry these. And with tournaments being a lot of people on a pair sometimes, you've got to have a ball cup. These ball cups are so important because sometimes your, your bowling ball rack just runs out of space. And if you want to carry a ball, you don't want to go have one ball in the rack, just have one ball in your bag, don't want to run back and forth. Is you just want to have one of these simple ball cups and just place your spare ball or your alternative ball on here and then you'll be good to go. Up next I want to talk about chamois. Chamois are super important and this is in every single pre-shot routine that I have because I always wipe the ball down to get all the oil off of it and pick it up so I can get that exact same shot that I'm trying to look for. And these are really good for just wiping your ball down that has the oil on it and after you're done bowling you immediately want to hit it with the microfiber towel and some ball cleaner because the pores are opened up and you want to clean it right away before the dirt gets trapped in the cover saw. And it just helps your bowling ball last longer whenever you clean it off properly and your ball game it's right. And that pretty much wraps up the essentials that I carry. And there's also emergency things that I carry, which would be 
extra shoelaces just in case they break because I would hate for one of my shoelaces to break and not have access to it because if your shoes don't fit then you're going to be really screwed and having extra shoelaces are just super helpful to have because you just never know when you'll need them and they're super cheap so just carry an extra with them. The next thing are nail clippers. I make sure I clip my nails before a tournament starts but sometimes if I do forget it's just another nice thing to have so I can make sure that I don't break a nail because those are super painful. And lastly, I carry socks. Because whenever we travel, we get so caught up with just focusing on the tournament that we forget to pack small things like socks. And you gotta have socks to bowl because you don't want your shoes to smell. So just make sure you bring extra socks with you. And I hope all this helps and I'll catch you guys on the next one.